welcome to my youtube channel life with Ndozo. if you're new here hi and welcome i hope you like what you see i hope you like what you see i hope you like what you see and you'll definitely subscribe if you're a returning subscriber hey my love i hope you are loving and taking care of yourself thank you so 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 much for all your subscriptions i truly appreciate each and every one of you the viewers the subscribers I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Today, I am going to be giving you guys a sneak peek into my skincare routine. Basically, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I use on my skin, why and where did I buy it, and so forth, and the prices included. So, let's get to it. Okay, so guys, first things first, to wash my face i use this aloe vera glycerin bar also gonna insert a picture on the side so why did i buy this product i bought it because i just felt like skin like facial washes are not working for my skin particularly because they are expensive and i never really see the difference like that's the truth i never really see the difference so that's how i just told myself that you know what? i am going for a glycerin bar I'm moisturizing my hands on it because I literally feel like they are too dry. So the next thing that I use is this. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Actives Even Tone Facial Toner. So the reason why I introduced this to my skin was because I just wanted to tone my skin, you know. I don't know where I heard this, but I heard that toner actually does help for the skin. And also I was targeting even tone because as you guys can see, I am a black girl or a young girl rather that suffers from hyperpigmentation. And honestly, do I know where the hyperpigmentation like stems from? No, I don't. But whatever product that I buy, I always buy even tone so that I can try and create a balance between the color of my face and the color of my neck because sana i don't know but i am trying other methods to um i don't know balance out my skin and also i bought these cotton pads from flex so actually my hyperpigmentation started getting worse when i gained weight i've always had it but it literally got worse when i gained weight and even though like um what can i say guys it just got worse when i gained weight actually like i don't know how else i can just put that but yeah it got really worse and i am trying many methods of losing weight because i don't feel like the gym is for me i don't know guys i really don't know but i really just do try to you know um find ways that i can lose weight so that have like a balanced thingy but for now this toner has actually been working i don't want to lie i do see the difference in the color of my neck and stuff like that like i personally do see it because i know how bad it was so i do see the progress even though it's little like imani but i see the progress right Right, so yeah, this is why I introduced the toner, so yeah, guys, so yeah, that is it for this step. I am a Vaseline babe, so I actually carry this to campus when I go to school, I actually carry this in my bag. Thank you to my bag. And thirdly, I have oily skin. That's one thing about me. So I bought this Lasting Oil Control Vanishing Cream. It helps for oily skin. However, I do not like having a fully vanished skin texture. You know, I still want my skin to be moisturized. I still want to look like a girl, you know. So what I do is that I mix, like I just pour a drop of this tissue oil, mix it with this. And that is a combo. Let me show you guys how I do it. Just a little though. Sometimes I do put too much. And then sometimes I do put more than one drop of tissue oil, Sana. So, just a drop. Just a drop of those. Come on. Yes. You see what I did? <laughs> this is what I always do, guys. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my instinct. So, I do that. 
you know and sometimes just like today i actually put a lot of tissue oil so i'm gonna have to add the vanishing cream again because you can probably just tell by how my skin is looking but i put a lot of tissue oil so this one's gonna go back again but alone this time the queen of the moment the queen you know guys when i say the queen i mean the queen the stunner of the moment so this is my stunner girl um i've always known that like you should use sunscreen on your face and whatnot but i wasn't doing it until i did it and sana the glow guys sunscreen just makes your skin glow like effortlessly unprovoked your skin will glow and this is what i use and apparently i was supposed to get spf 50 but i happened to get spf 30 and i was just like i'll work with what i have i'll literally work with what i have so this is the sunscreen that i chose however there are different brands and i bought this one according to my affordability because this is what i could afford as we guys know that sunscreen is very pricey like very 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 pricey so yeah however now that i've bought it i actually cannot live without it and also just like mathematics guys what you do on the left you do on the right same here what i do on my face i do all my neck i do have faith that one day my neck will be okay you know i just have to lose weight maybe or get like i don't know what else i have to get but i do have hope that one day my neck will be okay and it will look exactly like my face but one thing about me guys i don't like rushing things you know especially like sensitive things like you know like which is all things are my yini because you want your skin to be okay i really am i'm not a patient person by nature but I really try to be patient in certain things, you know. I really try, especially things like gym, things that like are gonna bind you or like, you know, like they're gonna bind you even though it's not legally, but like entering the gym is just like signing a contract with your body to like, Sana, we are doing this, you know. And knowing myself, I don't want to rush the process. I don't want to rush anything i want to enter the gym saying and knowing that you know i am doing this for this particular objective you know and also guys sunscreen i think it has a lot of chemicals because i think i put some on my eye and it like oh. i don't know guys it's sunscreen like i don't know whenever it gets oh so guys you need to be very careful when applying sunscreen because when it gets in your eye it hurts and it really hurts and also i think i made this mistake because i don't have a mirror you know so i'm just filming blindly oh Sana. my eye even my eye was even crying off camera though <laughs> okay so my loves the baby is dove for my armpits and the reason why i work with dove is because this one is actually i took it because it smells good but I usually go for the ones that have even tone, even tone. Whenever I buy, guys, I make sure that it says even tone because I am trying to get my, like, my skin color to be white. I have different shades of skin color, honestly, and I am trying by all means to have it even, you know, have the same skin color. So, yeah, and then for my badzi, my badzi, I use this um, skincare collection from Clicks. It's vitamin C plus even toned excess body cream so again it has come on come on say it it has even tone <laughs> so whatever product i buy guys i just make sure that it has even tone so yeah. so my dolls i just applied um and um, this thingy on my body shop so for my hair this is what i use to spray my hair on a day-to-day -day basis you know and then sometimes when i feel like i want to base my hair you know especially when my scalp is dry i go for this vitamin e hair 
food. I don't know if it's in stock in Cape Town, but I bought it from Joburg and I bought it in Sakane to be precise. So I don't know if you guys would find it in any other store. But the brand is Black Velvet and guys for hair growth, nourishment, everything, your hair becomes so moist and shiny, very, very shiny. But for now, I'm just going to put this only because that's what I need. On a good day, I like, put it line by line. But because we are fast to this side. So this is what I love doing. This is why I love cornrows. They are so convenient. And you can literally get in touch with your scalp when you have cornrows. Literally, you can. You have the power to do so. So, guys, one thing about me, I don't know if anyone else does this, but when I'm stressing or when I am not okay, if I have nails, Sana, I am gonna cut those nails off, especially acrylic. I'm gonna bite them literally. Or if I, I still feel that I still want my acrylic nails on, I am going to do something to my hair. If I'm not going to unbraid it, then I don't know. <laughs> Fun fact, there was this time in my life, I was literally so stressed. Literally, guys, you know what I say? I was so stressed. I was so stressed and I woke up and I was like, I'm cutting my hair. I literally woke up and I went to the barbershop. I was like, I am literally cutting my hair. Mind you, my hair was like such a big afro. It was very big. I was like, I am cutting my hair. But I, I tried to discipline myself. I tried to find other methods of relieving stress. But Sana, my hair and my nails is always a target, literally. And I don't know why. Is it normal? Do you guys also do it? How do you guys relieve stress? Comment down below of how you relieve stress dolls if you have watched until this far thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so 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 much i truly do appreciate it please drop a heart in the comment section just to show me that you have watched until this far and please guys do comment down below interact with me and please tell your friends to tell their friends to subscribe like please subscribe to my channel i think i'm about to reach 500 subscribers and i am so excited but i am on the road to 1k subscribers birds and i am consistent you know i am a consistent babe i'm gonna edit this now and then probably post it tomorrow if you watched until this far thank you so 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 much i love you um don't be fool now i don't know if you guys are watching Guys, why did I forget? How do they say it in Zonga? Nyatanza. That's what in Nyatanza. Guys, how do they say it in Zonga? How, how can I forget this? Okay, but anyway, love you guys. Bye. <laughs>